A baby alligator is on a horizontal beam that is supported by a pole and a cable. Our job is to find the tension force in the cable and the value of the force located here. We'll call it point P. Okay, well, we have a six kilogram beam coming straight down. From the middle of that would be six times 9.8, so that's 58.8 newtons. And the alligator will be straight down here. Let's see, he's 3.5 kilograms, so that's 34.3 newtons. The distance he is away from the point of rotation is going to be 1.7 meters. Okay, our job is to find the force tension. So let's do the uh, second condition of static equilibrium, the sum of all torques is equal to zero, equals a minus 58.8 multiplied by one. And remember the mass of the beam all looks like it comes from the center, so two divided by um, two is equal to one, and then minus 34.3 multiplied by 1.7. That's the distance the alligator is from the point of rotation. Now plus force tension times 2, because we're 2 away from the point of rotation, times the sine of 42. Solving for force tension, we get 87.5 newtons. I'll choose a different color for the second half of this question. Remember, we have to break force tension into force tension y and force tension x. So this one will be force tension y, and this will be force tension x, pointing in this direction. To get the value of the force at point P, we do need to use the, set, the first condition of static equilibrium. Sum of all forces in the x direction equals 0, equals force pull x minus force tension x. Okay, so plugging in for force pull x, we're going to try to figure that out. So we say that 0 equals force pull x minus 87.5 cosine of 42. Where do we get that from? Our 42 degrees is right here. And the uh, force pull x is pointing in this direction here. Okay. And we get a value for force pull x equal to 65.0 newtons. Next, we need to find the force pull in the y, which we pointing upwards this way. Force pull y. We're going to say the sum of all forces in the y direction equals zero. Equals force pull y. Okay, plus the value of uh, force tension y, which would then be 87.5 times the sine of 42. And then we're just going to subtract the two masses. The weight of the mass of that is so 58.8 and minus 34.3. And we get force pull y okay, equal to 34.6 newtons. Okay, so we have an upwards force of 34.6, the horizontal force of 65 newtons. So to get the value of force pull, we will then Pythagorize those together. Okay, so 34.6 squared plus 65.0 squared. The value of force pull is then going to equal 73.6 newtons. And then we want the angle theta, so tangent of theta is equal to 34.6 over 65.0. It turns out to be 28 degrees. That's going to be above horizontal. I'll abbreviate that above uh, HOR. That means our resultant vector, let me choose a different color here, is 
pointing this way, and the angle is located here. So this is the value of 73.6 newtons, and the angle is 28 degrees above the horizontal.